Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland. And please only listen when you can safely, safely close your eyes. Uh, I thought I'd just do, you know, kind of an update, an update recording, just updating you on updates, yeah, kind of, yeah, updates, <laughs> it's an update, so today is Wednesday the 13th of November, it's 10 to 7, the year is 2024. So, I haven't, I still haven't done any coursework for my degree. Nothing. Since Friday. When I posted, or was it Thursday? I think I posted uh, on my Facebook group that I'll only be, I won't be making any recordings until December. Well, since then, I've made, I think this is the third recording I've done since then. I think. Yeah, I don't, I didn't do nothing Saturday or Sunday, but I did, yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm going to, I'm still going to do a Q&A Friday this Friday. So, if you've got any questions for Q&A Friday, please leave me some questions on my Facebook group, which is Jason Newland's Boring Group. You just need to join. So I'll go through some of the stuff I've been doing. Vinny, settle down, darling. Settle down. Settle down. I've got, I've got the window open. I've got the door open. Because it's... It's just a bit stuffy in there. Yesterday I did the recording and I was coughing because the stuffiness. It's probably just a mixture of me and him. <laughs> it's maybe because I've got computers on and it's the air's blowing out and dust is being blown around and stuff like that from the computer, the fan from the computer and the hard drive and uh, with the electrical equipment and stuff, the TV. It's probably staticky air staticky air so Vinny's jumping all over me for some reason I just give him a couple of treats broke them up, put them in my pocket and he's had them and now he wants more and more and more because he's never satisfied never ever ever satisfied so what is the latest Ooh, I have updated my website. So I spent a bit of time doing that today. So let's have a look. Oh, Jaden. My name's Jason, isn't it? That's weird. I thought it had come up. How strange. Okay, so I'm just looking at the... It's a little bit different on the on the app, but well not on the app, on the phone to what it is on the computer. So when you go to my website, which is jasonnewland.com, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven podcasts. The first one is latest recordings. So, even though there is a list, a playlist on the actual website on the first page, if you go down, there is also, oh, oh, there is also, um, in the menu, latest, so that takes you to a playlist, 492 hours worth of recordings. 
It's 97 recordings. But on the actual first page, if I go back home, okay. So there's latest recordings, Let Me Boy to Sleep, Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis, Jason's Bedtime Story Time, Let Me Bore Your Pain Away, Relaxation for Stress and Panic Attacks, Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily, Sleepy Boring Objects, Stop Nail Biting, Stop Smoking, and Street and Pain, um, Street, Stress and Pain Relief. So they're the, the podcasts, and it takes you directly to the actual podcast itself on Spreaker. So that's the website, and then down a little bit you've got the latest video, which would be yesterday's video from on YouTube, which you can play, and also there is the latest recordings. Again, that's on there as well, which is, okay, so that that's that. All the recordings now, and I know this will probably annoy some people, but from now onwards, all the recordings will be without music. And there's a few reasons for that. It's not to annoy people, believe it or not. But I know whatever I do, it's not going to make everyone's toes dance. You know, it's it's dance, dance, toes dance. Not everyone's going to be, you know, best pleased because I can't please everyone. And I just need to have to accept that. So I, one of my original reasons for getting rid of the music to start with was because I want to have complete control of my my material over my work and when it's got people's music mixed together with it even if it's copyright free I kind of don't really own own my own recordings so I want yeah I just I don't want to be beholden to to people that produce music unless I end up producing music myself so there's a lot of screaming outside Vinny calm down calm down I what else have I done another reason why I've gone back to Spreaker because originally I've always been with Spreaker, but I I didn't used to use it like as my main podcast host because I couldn't have music on there, I couldn't have recordings of music. But at the same time, it, uh, a lot of the podcasts that I've done in the past almost become invisible when everything's on one podcast. And I, I just personally think that's a bit of a shame because, I mean, it's my own opinion, but I think some of the recordings I've done in the past are quite good. So, you know, there's 514 deep sleep whisper hypnosis recordings. There are 30 Jason's Bedtime Storytime recordings. Which you won't see on the SoundCloud one. Because they're on there, but they're, they're kind of hidden almost. And you probably won't even be able to find them. Let me boy to sleep. There's nine of those. So it's not a lot. But you've also got the relax... This is a podcast I think is quite good, but very, well, it's almost been forgotten, I think. And it's something I put a lot of effort in in the past, I did. 
I did a lot of these recordings during the 2020 to 22 period, if you remember that period. Uh, so there are 231 recordings on here and it's the relaxation for stress and panic attacks. I was making recordings like pretty much every day for for quite a while with those ones. Some of them some of them are short, just techniques, and some of them are a bit longer. There is the relax and sleep hypnosis daily, two hundred and sixteen of those. Sleepy boring objects, forty four. Stop now biting, it's two. <laughs> One in 2011, one in 2017. Some Jews do another one of those. If nothing else, they're quite funny, them ones. Uh, you'll hear you, well, it's just the stuff that I say in them are a bit extreme. Uh, stop smoking recordings. There's 15. Some of those are pretty good, actually. Some of the later ones, I think, but... I am biased, I guess. The stress and pain relief. There's... 47. 47 plus a few others. So, you know, so there's quite a few recordings over, from over the years that I've done. And, of course, to let me boy to sleep, 1,232. I forgot that one. I was thinking, that doesn't sound like a lot of recordings, but and then we add the let me boy to sleep, then yeah, it adds up, doesn't it? 1,332. So I'm guessing with all the recordings, it's over 2,000 individual recordings. That's without the additional five hours or 10 hours uh, that I now do without music. So yeah. Wow. It's quite a lot, quite a lot. And most of those have been really since about 2018. Most of them, some of them were before that, but the majority of the recordings I did previous to 2015 are gone. Well, maybe not gone, but not uploaded. They're kind of, they're stored away because the quality of the recording was just terrible. So I think the content, the material was potentially okay because I was getting a lot of positive feedback for many years. But the quality, the actual recording quality weren't great. Saying that, there are a lot of those old videos on my YouTube channel. Because I think I've got about 1,500 videos on my YouTube channel. Let me just check. I think I have. Let me have a look. Oops. Du, 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 du. You. YouTube, YouTube. I lose track to be honest with you. YouTube got dot com. Oh, no, I don't want to open in the app. I just they're so annoying. I don't want the app to open. Don't know why it has to do that. Why? Da 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 da. YouTube. I don't want the app. I just want to open up normally in the normal browser. Please, please, please. Can't I? Can't I? Yeah. So I got 1.4 thousand subscribers. But it's not telling me how many vids I've got. That's weird. I thought it would do. 
Oh, okay, okay. I need to go to the actual... I've got 2,000 videos. 2,000 videos. So none of those are with music. So they're all kind of individual recordings. A lot of them... Well, not a lot, but there's there's a fair few that are old. Really old. And also there's you know, it's a few videos with Andre and a few videos with uh, Vin Min. Also, I want to say a big hello to Kara. Thanks for your message. I've not replied yet, I don't think. And also to Molly. I've not replied to your message yet. I will do. I just haven't um, got around to it. Uh, uh. Oh, dear. So. What was I... Yeah, I can't believe Christmas is on its way. So I'm seeing my dad with um, a come on, shush. Let me doing that, Vin. You know we don't do that. I suppose if I closed the door and left the window open, maybe he'd be cool, but. And he wouldn't bark. He's just got a habit of barking every time someone opens a door. Not my door. Because obviously that would be a reason to bark, wouldn't it? How would they open my door? But if if they open their own front door, he just tends to bark. And I don't know why, because he should be used to it by now. He's lived here for nearly two years. Nearly two years. It'll be, I don't remember the exact date. I can get the exact date because I've got it somewhere. But, uh, but my dad, yeah, he has to have another, this is personal stuff, I shouldn't really sort of mention it, but he has to go back into hospital and have, have another procedure. So, fingers crossed for him. I hope it it kind of goes okay. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna bark. You're gonna you're gonna bite me. Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna bite me? Or are you gonna be good? Are you gonna be good? He's now cuddling me. There's so much, Did you hear that growling? Blow me. All I did was just cuddle him. He gets so aggressive. You know, sometimes we're in bed. I'm holding on to you, so I'm not letting go. Because then you're, you're now focused on me. Hey, calm down. You're focused on me. You're not focused on what sounds are going on. So you can stay with me. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Sometimes we'll be in bed, right? All I'll do is I'll accidentally touch him. So I'll move over and I'll touch his, maybe I'll touch his tail with my hand and he growls at me like that. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, Vin. Good boy. Good boy. Well, it's like I've got... Because now, he's not going to be listening to any of the sounds outside or any of the sounds in the hallway. He's going to be focused exactly now on me, wondering how long does he have to put up with me cuddling him? How long before he, he can escape and enjoy the feeling of freedom? <laughs> it must be horrible, Vinny. To have someone that loves you so much, eh? Must be awful to have a daddy that absolutely adores you and eh? Eh? And what? I don't know. So I, 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 I. Yeah, Christmas. Normally, I used to go. 
to my dad's at Christmas, like during the actual Christmas period. But I haven't done that for years because when I got Andre 2015, I just got a knock at the door. A very loud knock from a very little girl and her mummy. I couldn't believe it, honestly. It sounded like it was some eight foot tall muscle man knocking. It was so loud. Whole building shook. And she's like two inches tall. Man, I don't know. Ugh. Anyway, they came in. They were, they were, um, wanted me to make a phone call for them to phone somewhere they're waiting for. Yeah, she's friends with a neighbour downstairs. So I called and normally I just sort of wait until she gets here, but I'm in the middle of recording. Luckily, I didn't have to lie. Because I said I was in the middle of recording and they said, well, can we just wait? Can we come in and use your phone? Luckily, I was in the middle of recording. Otherwise, I'd have looked like a liar. A liar. So, I don't know what I was saying. What was I saying? Oh, it's something I like to do with the, with her daughter. Is, she's eight. I like to chuck treats at her. Like dog treats. <laughs> it really annoys her. <laughs> As a catch. Good boy. <laughs> and she is so annoyed. It's funny. It's really weird. You look an eight year old. And just think. Eight. Eight. When she's, uh, let's say, 20, so that's 12 years away, I'll be 66. 66. When she's 22, I'll be 93. When she's 30, I'll be 89. When she's 40, I'll be like 77. It's just weird, isn't it? Anyway, um, I was just talking about my dad. I won't, I'm not going to go into details because it's personal, but he has to have a medical procedure. And it's going to take a couple of weeks to recover from it, which means uh, Christmas might be delayed yeah I mean he's still going to sort of celebrate Christmas where he is but the whole kind of the family get together which normally happens usually a couple of weeks before Christmas where we all get together and because I can't get down my my little brother he stays with his mum now every Christmas so it's kind of one of those moments where we don't know if we're going to get together before Christmas or in January because it's important he gets to treat he gets to it's not treatment it's it's a medical procedure I'm not going to go into more details than that but he's it's something that he needs to have done like as soon as possible but at the same time, it's not going to be something that he wants done. Because it's very intrusive. Um, it has to be put under put under to, to have it done. And it's just... I think, you know, he'd probably prefer to have it done in January. So that he can enjoy Christmas. Because he's a proper... He is... Father Christmas, he is Santa. He loves Christmas, every bit of it. Everything about Christmas he loves. Like, absolutely. And he's got a big white beard. Like his own, he don't, not a fake one, a real big white beard. So he looks like Father Christmas. So it's... Um, I'm, just, I'm really noticing when I say the word so... And it's bugging me now because nobody's like pulled me up on it. No one's been saying, oh, you say so too much. 
but I've noticed it and it's starting to annoy me. <sighs> so, uh, therefore, Christmas, see, I, I just say, I say it how it don't matter. What's it matter? It's not like I'm always saying the same sentences all the time. You know? It's not like I'm saying, always saying the same sentences all the time. You know? So, we'll just have to wait and see. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, that's it really. So that's the latest for Christmas. I will be at home with Vinny, just me and Vinny. My, his mummy, who lives over the road, she's going away to be with her family at Christmas. So I won't see her. My neighbour around the corner, who literally just knocked on my door just now, her mum said she's going to cook me a Christmas dinner. And so that would be nice. She did last year as well. What it is, I actually got a Christmas dinner from Vinny's mum. So I got two Christmas dinners last year. I must admit, well I mustn't, I don't have to admit, but I'll admit that I wasn't necessarily necessarily feeling the most Christmassy that I've ever felt in my life at that point because it was you know uh, it just was I just wasn't really in a Christmassy kind of mode but it was lovely to have some dinners it really was so nice not to have to do anything for my food on Christmas it, yeah it was nice I think what I'm going to do this December, this Christmas, is possibly try and get some presents for Vinny. I was thinking about maybe getting a tree, but I can't really afford to be doing stuff like that. So, unless there's sort of really cheap ones. I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever decorated... Christmas decorations. I did have a tree the very first year. I'm pretty sure the 2015 I had a tree. Christmas tree that is. Just a fake one. And Andre loved trying to pull it over. And I did, I actually had a video. I don't know if I've still got it of Christmas morning in 2015 I think it, I, th I do think it was 2015 it might have been 2016 I think it was 2015 and I had a bunch of stuff just general things that I wrapped up so I had cans of cocoa wrapped up I had uh, cans of beer because I used to still drink back then so I had cans of beer I wrapped up there was treats and toys for Andre that I wrapped up and I made a video and it was pretty cool S you know I don't know why I haven't done that with uh, Vinny well, I suppose really the last time it was a bit too soon I'd only had him for two weeks before Christmas and after the first week of having him, I fractured my back in two places, falling down the stairs. So, celebrating Christmas, putting up decorations. I mean, I could hard... Oh, it took everything just to bend down and pick his poo up. I shouldn't have been doing that anyway, but... Uh, with, my, with my back. But I had no choice, because suddenly I had to take him out. And you can't leave poo on the floor, so... Especially not dog poo... And that that year wasn't really a Christmassy year for me. The next year wasn't really a Christmassy year at all because of uh, my friend leaving. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this year it could be. However, I seem to have left it a little bit late to do anything spectacular. But I suppose if I could try and get a little tree, 
maybe get a few decorations. Perhaps I could see if it makes a difference to my to how I feel. Maybe I don't know. I'm really not sure because it would only be for me. No one else really comes in here except. Well, I've got a couple of neighbours sometimes visit. That's it, really. You know, I don't have regular visitors coming in. Um, hmm. Yeah. So we'll see. But that's next. That's next month. But it's not long ago. Long ago. Long to go. You think about it, what is it? The what day is it? What day is it? I, I literally just had a look at it and now it's disappeared. The 13th. So let's have a look how many weeks we got. So once this week's over, which will be yeah, 13th, 14th. Thursday and Friday will be the 15th Saturday will be the 16th and Sunday will be the 17th so it's one two three four five five whole weeks at the end well basically six weeks really so five whole weeks and then a few days but there's still a few days left. So yeah, it's six weeks. Pretty much. Yeah. It'll be here before we can know it. 25th of deck. Now we're back in January again. 2025. How long have I got for my... I think it's the 23rd, the 23rd, or I think it's Saturday or Sunday, or maybe it's Friday the 22nd, so I've just got over a week to complete my coursework, otherwise, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I don't know what, I really don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. So my web. Blimey! How much noise can one person make? Really, blimey! So noisy in the garden. So noisy. I'm gonna be quiet just in case they're listening. They might be listening. So yeah, it's um, it's weird to think about it, isn't it? Christmas is nearly here. A whole year nearly passed by. It just makes me wonder, what does the next year hold? What, what do I... I was thinking about this the other day. Well, today as well. If you'd have asked me, what would my ideal life be? What would my ideal lifestyle be? If I could just choose. And if you'd have asked me this in 2013, 2014, um, I would have said to be able to focus completely on what I do here the online recordings that's what I would focus on that is what I'd like to devote my time to and just focus on that and if you'd have asked me in 2015, 16, 17 I might have even said the same thing the weird thing about it is I could but I didn't It's 
kind of strange. I mean, I mean, I have. I've, you know, I've put a lot of time and effort into all the stuff, but there's still other stuff going on, and especially the last couple of years, no, the last two years previous to last November, it was full on trying to kind of be kind of like a carer I guess so I didn't yeah I don't know how I balanced it really from an energy perspective that is hmm oh I phoned the doctor surgery got through to them yesterday or was it today and I asked them to I think it might have been yesterday asked them to redo the letter for my bus pass and the receptionist no it was today because I phoned didn't I I phoned like 67 times yesterday so it was today about 11 ish and the receptionist asked me who wrote the letter who or who typed the letter and it was a doctor and she said I know it's a doctor who I said oh okay so I read off the name of the doctor difficult pronouncing it but I think I got it okay and she said we're going to speak to the lady the doctor and try and sort it out I said okay I, I said to them well, can you send it to me digitally because that's what the bus pass want me to do? And she said, no. I said, no. So, I don't know why that is. I feel like I've already said this before. Maybe it was yesterday I called them. I've already said this before. Did I say it last night in yesterday's recording? So perhaps it was a day before that I phoned them. Unless, of course, I phoned yesterday. Did I phone today? Let me have a look. I can check. No, it's yesterday. It wasn't today. I phoned 64 times. Ah, so the last time I phoned... I, I first time I phoned was 11.38, according to this. And the last time I called was one thirty-five. So yeah, I probably have already told you this yesterday. But they said the email wasn't secure. So I don't really know what's going on there. I understand if it was a personal document of I don't know just like really personal stuff on there I mean I suppose it has got personal stuff on there but not oh I guess I don't know so yeah they won't send it there and they said they'll get back to me but I know they're really busy of course so uh, I'll have to wait I'll give it uh, give it till next Monday and then I'll call them up again and see how it is. It just means I'm going to have to go all the way up there again. I did it last week and it was a it was a kerfuffle. I can't take mini me with me because of oh man <laughs> such a hassle taking it with me. So I'll have to go on my own. It'll be alright. I'll just do it, just get it done in it. And hopefully I can just take a photo of it and then send it and then that should be it then. Ho yeah, hopefully. I'm trying to think. So yeah, what's the update? All the podcasts are now on. They're on the website, so... It's very, very neatly organised.
I've updated everything so all the latest recordings are on there. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, I did do... Was it yesterday or the day before? I did a thing which was going to be a premium... I've still got a podcast, but... Premium podcast with no music. And it was going to be like for a fee, a monthly fee. But I was going to let people give a, a, a link for free access to people on my Facebook group. But I've deleted that post because it's not valid anymore. Due to the fact that everything's going to be music free now. But it was going to be ad free. There may be adverts on the podcasts. There may not be. All depends. I just thought, you know what? I'm not not 100% got rid of it, but it's on a back burner now. I figured some people would like to be able to listen. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah, I've put that on a back burner. I've still got it, but no one can access it because private. Other than that, I've still got quite a few updates to make on the website. So the new recordings that I've done well, in the last month or so, 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 here's so, you know, when I was in uh, Ireland, I lived there for about five weeks, I think, and people used to walk past me, you just like in the street, as you do, and they'd be like, so, 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 not like here, like, you're right, hi, morning, afternoon, you right, you know that that's kind of probably the most you get where I live, but so that was it. Like, so what? What so so? And it's just what they do in that that town. I don't know if it's the same everywhere, but in that town, that's what they said. So, and I guess that was just a short, shortened for. So what a wonderful day, is it not? How are you? Are you well? Your family good? That's brilliant. Speak to you later. Maybe that's what the so was it was so short for that. Or maybe so is just short for whatever might have been. Whatever for any sentence. Perhaps it meant so I don't want to talk to you right now. Goodbye. Maybe that's what it meant. I do knew. So it's a very strange, very strange time. I keep going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and flipping flopping with what to do next and where to go, how should I do it and well not where to go physically because I'm here but just regarding the podcasts and when I make changes there's always people that miss what I used to do and it's yeah I can't like I can't please everyone and there I said there might be some adverts and if that creates a little bit to help me pay the costs because I don't really get like many PayPal gifts so it's the expenses it adds up you know on a monthly basis and the podcast is 40 40 a month not the podcast the website is 40 a month the the podcast Spreaker at the moment is about I think 20 or 30 but it'll go up the more podcast episodes I have the, the higher it'll go up I used to pay about 100 a month And then you've got the Canva, that's 12 or 13 a month. 
that's uh, editing software I use for images. Then you've got uh, ChatGBT, which is 20 a month, or was it 25 a month with tax? I use that every day. And then I've still got the two SoundCloud accounts, so that's 20 a month. Um, what else is there there's three about five five a month for the apple storage or is it seven or eight a month something like that for the apple storage for the video oh um youtube is is it 12 a month? Because I have it ad-free on YouTube. Just because it's... I use it for studying. I use it for lots of different things. And the adverts just get in the way. So it's something that I need. I know it's a weird thing, isn't it? Like, well, I, I imagine most people don't, don't listen to YouTube advert-free. But it... Because I'm using it to learn things. Using it, you know, how to help me to, you know, build websites or to use equipment or whatever. Yeah, it's just, I can't be having adverts popping up. So, yeah, I don't like the adverts. And they, they are pretty, they're all the way through as well. See, my adverts are just at the beginning of the podcast. Don't have them in the middle of the podcast. And what other one? What else do I pay for? I think that's about it really as far as for what I do here. I'm still paying £100 a month towards the laptop that I've got. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, it was expensive, but I ended up, uh, yeah, I'm still paying it off. I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else. I mean, it's weird, like 2022, I spent £6,000 just on the I think that's yeah six six grand throughout the year on internet because I had multiple internets at the time so that I could stream so that I could do videos and podcasts at the same time the iPad and got equipment and stuff so yeah it's, it's quite an expensive year Yeah. Luckily, everything everything seems to be working okay as far as the equipment goes. Although it is accruing, accruing is that the right word? Some dust. So what I really should do, I think, is get some kind of dust cover over it when I'm not using it. But I uh, will see. We'll see how it goes, innit? Hey, 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 hey. Now. No, I can't think of anything else that I pay out for at the moment. Website. So that's 40, 50, 60. Seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, hundred and ten to hundred and twenty a month, hundred and forty, hundred and forty, about hundred and forty a month probably. So yeah, so that's what I've got, sort of uh, going out. And 
I mean, technically, do I need the website? Do I? Do I, though? And I del- I keep, like, not deleting it, but un unconnecting it to the internet. Because uh, I ran out. I didn't have enough to pay for it last month. So I, I kind of just let it dissolve. All the content stays on there for two years. So I could go back within us, you know, that time period and everything that I'd done will still be there. I just have to reconnect it to my my domain name and then it's back and running within minutes. It just seems quite a good thing to have everything in one place. For those that are maybe interested in some of the other stuff that I've done in the past, some of the other podcasts, recordings that I've Maybe that might be useful, even possibly, and a way to hopefully my plan is to start to get them a bit more organized. So, I'm thinking of organizing the maybe by page. So maybe clicking on, so when you click on this, say, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. So this, I'm not sure how good this is going to be for the phone. I sent that message at 5.54. It's now 7.50. Why hasn't she replied? I just looking at the website. Let's go back. So I guess for it, as an example, yeah. Okay, click on the bedtime story time, and then instead of taking me to the actual podcast itself, it can take me to episodes of the podcast, and then when I click on the episode of the podcast. It can then take me to the versions of that. So maybe, you know, just the normal one, the five hour and the 10 hour version. Maybe, I don't know what else. Um, hmm. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea until I said it out loud. Maybe not. That's another way I could do it. So click on it. I could have them numbered. So search by number. Search by year. Search by topic. I don't know. Maybe search by number, search by year. And then I could do that with, for example, the let me boy to sleep. So I could have search for num- search by number, search by year. So then I can click on the search by year and just have 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you can click on that. And then you've got a choice of without music, five hours. No, it's just the one standard one, five hours and 10 hours. And you click on that. And then that takes you to all the ones that are available from 2004. Or, if it's by number, do them in 50s. So, you know, by number 1 to 50, 51 to 93 or whatever, you know, and then by f- and then uh, 99 to 114, then 112 to 250. So just do it in 50s, that's what I mean, in blocks of 50. So that would be, <laughs> I just made myself laugh, sorry. I know, it's it's ridiculous. So, that's a heck of a lot of 50s, isn't it? Or I suppose I could do 1 to 100 to, I suppose I could do 1 to 500, and then click on that, and then it's like in 50s. Something like, I don't know, we'll see. And then I can have it by dates, by year. 
and then I suppose you click on the year if I click on year by year and it can say by month so I'm going to have them really really well organized I don't think I've ever been so excited wow and he's licking my ankle I like it <laughs> whoa again that sounds wrong I like the idea I suppose I like the idea of having everything really organized but I also I think I like the idea of doing whatever it takes to distract me from actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing which is my coursework that's the thing that's why I'm making this recording very likely so that I don't have to sit in front of the computer and study it's the weird thing about it right every day like in the evening when I'm in bed or maybe I'm in a rest or lying down I listen to audiobooks of psychology psychology audiobooks like every day for maybe hours and hours every day I listen but at night I have to have something on when he's if I don't play music or have the radio on or listen to an audio book or listen to a podcast when I'm in bed this little one will bark I don't want stuff played in the background I'd rather just well, sometimes a radio on a Friday and Saturday night but, but generally I just rather lay there and listen to the weather listen to the wind or the rain or the birds you know I quite like that but I don't get to do that anymore with this one because any sound and he starts and it's not fair on the neighbours it's really not sometimes I can get away with turning the if I wake up at like 2 o'clock and go for a wee wee I can turn the radio off or turn the, the audio book off and he's so far asleep he doesn't care anymore and it's fairly unlikely there's going to be too much of a sound although I was woken up at 3 o'clock I think this morning by someone slamming the door downstairs so this is something that goes been going on a, a bit quite regularly lately like early hours in the morning quite a bit of movement which is not great to be fair and it does stir him he wakes up and when he wakes up he wants me to get up because he wants to have a play and he wants to maybe have a treat or, or you know wants something and I don't necessarily want to be getting up at that time of night or you know that time in the morning although this week I will be watching Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is it Jake Paul on Netflix and I'm assuming it's going to be on at like 4 o'clock in the morning something silly like that and because it's on Netflix I won't be able to well I don't know I've never watched a live thing on Netflix before but I'm assuming that the chances of me being able to rewind while it's being played live is slim I can do it to a degree with the zone sometimes sometimes I don't allow it so if I get up at 3 the show starts at 1 I can either watch it from the beginning or and then just fast forward through all the guff so what I'll do 
if it's not live, well, it's live, but if, if I'm not watching it, if I'm, like, late getting there, and I'm not particularly bothered about the undercard fights, you know, like, I mean, all the talk and stuff. So I skim through to the tail of the tape, as it were, just to see the two fighters, see... Because if I, I might not know either of the people, and you see what, whether they're un, undefeated, how old they are, how long they've been fighting, and just see the stats. And then I'll skip through all the way through to past the introductions, where they're literally in each other, in, in their corner, waiting to start the fight for round one. So that's what I'll do, and I'll watch that and... If it's not a particularly gripping event, I might just fast forward. Because not, not every boxing experience is an experience to write a poem about. And then I fast forward to the next one, look at the tail of the tape for that one, and forward to the all past the ring walk and all the razzmatazz, and just get on with it. And hopefully, by the time I've watched those fights, it'll be time for the main event. And again, I'll know generally what the stats are, what the tail of the tape is for the, the main event, if it's something that I want to watch. And I'll skip through again. I don't want to have to listen to the national anthems or any of that stuff. Just skip right through. And they're both standing ready to start round one. That's where I want to be. All the guff. I just missing the guff out. That's, that's the guff. I don't know if that's the right word. But that, that suits me. I don't mind. I don't mind all that stuff if it's a big occasion I mean it's a big occasion for the fighters and for the fighters family and uh, the fans and stuff for those fighters but for me quite a few of those fights are not necessarily big big fights to me here I mean and not always like world title fights or anything like that but when it is a world title fight I do you know I'll sometimes listen to the introduction but then I don't really need to because I know who they are D does that make sense I mean I don't I don't need to see Canelo introduction I don't need to, to hear the national anthem I don't need to see him do a two hour ring walk all that stuff I don't need to hear him being introduced because I know a fair bit about the man, like as a boxer, I mean, his boxing career. And because he generally only fights big names or people that we, that you'd know, boxing fans know. So I'd already know about them as well. So yeah, I'm not particularly bothered about listening or watching any of that stuff. I'd rather just, uh, unless of course I need a cup of tea. So if I'm watching it live, which I would do normally, I'd probably be watching that live when it came to the main event. But if I can skip through to the actual fight, I will. Unless, of course, I need a cup of tea. So I'll start it with the ring walk, go and make a cup of tea. Maybe I'll hear the national anthem. Maybe there'll be two national anthems. And it depends whether or not he's fighting someone from Russia, because they never, never played a Russian national anthem. Did you know that? Yeah, they don't. Don't play the, the Russian nas national... I can't say the word national today. Never play the Russian national anthem. At boxing events. I don't know about other sporting events. Uh, did they play it during the Olympics? I don't know. But I do... That did make me wonder, because... What's his name? Um, Canelo fought 
Bibble, Bibble, uh, about three years ago. They played, like, so it was in America. Or was, was it in America or was it in, was it in Dubai? No, I think it was in America. I think it was. So they, they played the Mexican National Anthem. They played the American National Anthem. But they didn't play the Russian National Anthem, which is Bivol's country. Also, Canela came in second. So Canela, usually the the etiquette, uh, which goes out the window with... uh, with Canelo, he's above all that. The champion, the, the the challenger comes in first, comes into the ring first, gets called in first, gets announced first. The champion comes in second and gets announced second. Now sometimes if they're both champions, you know, there's a unification fight, then... They, they'll let one in first and then they'll announce the other one first. You know, so they'll both kind of try to equal it out. But with Canelo, he always has to come into the ring last. Even when he's challenging for another world title that he doesn't own, that he doesn't have. So Bivol was the champion. He got into the ring second. No, he got into the ring first. He was announced first, and they didn't pay, play his national anthem. I just found that very disrespectful towards him. And maybe at that time they didn't realise what a phenomenal boxer Bivol is. If you say Bivol enough times, it sounds a bit silly. <laughs> no, I didn't say that out loud, don't tell him. But Bivol, he... It sounds like a kind of a like a cartoon policeman from a children's program. Inspector Bivol here. I don't know. So he, I don't know why I've got the image of the Monopoly. Is it Monopoly? Is that a policeman on the Monopoly board? Or on the cover of the Monopoly game, maybe. So I don't know. You, we've got the the boxing on on Saturday. Well, it's Sunday morning. No, it's not Saturday. It's Friday. It's Saturday morning, early hours in this country. It's Friday. That's a weird day to do it. I don't know why. There's probably not a lot of difference between a Friday and a Saturday. Really. Um other than there's less people probably going to work on a Sunday than there are on a Saturday. But there's less people going to work on a Saturday than there are on a Friday, probably. Hmm. But then that's only in this country, because in America it will be on in the evening. So the whole thing will be over by probably 11 o'clock. It's just because we've got the time difference here. Yeah. I wish they could kind of just do it a little bit. Like like they did, they did one before. I think it was, uh, I think it was Tank Davis. And he, he did a, they, they did a Dubai Riyadh season boxing event in America. They did one in London recently and they did one in America uh, in the summer and that started early that started in the early afternoon I think which meant we could watch it from like I think 7 o'clock it still went on to early hours of the morning but it was just a much easier 
ride, then, I mean, it's usually at least eight hours, seven, at least seven hours, sometimes eight hours worth of boxing on the Riyadh season fights. They normally start around four, sometimes five, but four-ish, and finish around 11, sometimes 12. Yeah, but this one is just a normal, well, I say normal, but it's a Netflix show. I ne don't, don't think I've ever seen boxing on Netflix. I've seen it on Amazon. Amazon Prime do live boxing sometimes. Not often, but they do do it. I just wish it was all on one place. One place. I know it's a monopoly. It's not a monopoly and it's just, I mean, as it is, you've got Eddie Hearn and now you've got another company, what's his name? So he's with, that's Matchroom Boxing, they're with the, the Zone, but also Queensbury Boxing is now joining the Zone as well. They've been on TNT Sports for a while, which is under the Peacock umbrella, I think. It used to be with BT Sports. And the problem with that is it costs like £35 a month to be with them, which is just too much. They don't have enough boxing on to cover it to... to rep so yeah, it's just... No. No. So now, which means that I get to miss, I miss a few boxing events every year, some which I want to watch, because Queensbury have the, they manage most of the big heavyweights in this country. So they've got Tyson Fury, they've got Daniel Dubois, who's the IBF champion. They have... Uh, Joe Joyce. They have... I think they might even have Zilly Zhang. And they have Fabio Wardley, who's my favourite heavyweight. So I'm thinking now that they're going to be joining the join in the zone. The two main places, the two main people will be in one place. And that's good. I'm pleased with that. And it's easier for them to make fights as well. Because they're they're two of the pretty much the two biggest boxing stables in the UK what would be good is if when it won't I don't know why Sky can't just come together they do come together when it comes to the Riyadh season they show the same event on Sky and they show it on the zone like multi-platform, cross-platform thing. So if you're with Sky, you pay pay-per-view for it. Or if you're with DAZN, you pay-per-view on there. I just think it'd be quite cool if Sky did that with all their fights. Just shared it. Made everything available for us. So for Sky viewers... They can watch it on Sky, the zone on Sky. And for the zone viewers, they can watch the Sky boxing on the zone. It just, it's just a much bigger audience, and I, don't know, I just think I'd just be nice because I miss, I mean, quite a few of the Sky events are. There's not many. There used to be a lot more. 
but that's not a huge amount anymore and I'd quite like there to be more but the, the ones that there are are usually quite good um, especially the the foreign ones so there'll be shows on the ones I like are the Japanese boxing bills because they start at about 8 in the morning perfect way to start the day really is to watch like multiple world title fights which there usually is and Inui is the he's the top top Japanese fighter his brother's also world champion multiple champions in Japan all at lower weights and although I think there is a there's sure there's a middleweight a Japanese middleweight and a possibly but probably there will be heavyweights as well but I've not seen any but then until Zilly Zin came along I didn't know I'd never seen in boxing I'd never seen a a heavyweight Chinese boxer there was a Chinese MMA fighter and he was also a giant he was about 8 foot tall but anyway the Japanese events are really good it's such a lovely way to start the day really just mm 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 and it'd be nice to be able to watch that on the zone. Yeah, it would. It really, really would. What am I going to have for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. What am I going to have? I've been watching Last Man on Earth. And it's getting to the end of it now. So I think I've got about three episodes left. Maybe four, maybe two. And there's four seasons. And I started watching it years ago. And I liked it, but I thought, uh. And then I watched it again. I thought, I like it, but, uh. Well, this time, because of course I've been looking for a major distraction at every opportunity. And I've watched loads of episodes. I've enjoyed it. It's funny. There's some really funny bits in it. Like really funny. <laughs> really funny bits. And. Yeah. It's it's good. I recommend watching it. For those that haven't. If you've never seen it. It's on Disney. Yeah. I actually cancelled my Disney prescription. But I'm waiting I don't know when it runs out, but I'm hoping I can finish Last Man on Earth before it runs out. It just seems like such a good... I don't want to be... You know, obviously, Last Man on Earth... It'd be cool. Not Obviously, not how he got to be Last Man on Earth, but just to be able to go anywhere and do anything and... He ends up living in like, famous people's houses and stuff. It just, it's, I don't know, it just looks like quite a cool, cool sort of world to be in. But, anyway, I don't want to say too much. Too much. I don't want to spoil the program for you because you might watch it and think, wait a minute. So I don't want you to be starting to speak like that. Therefore, therefore, I'm going to go. So thank you for listening. I don't know how long I've been talking for, maybe an hour. I had a, a big interruption earlier, so I've got no idea. I didn't set my timer today. I'll edit this in the morning. Right now I need to figure out what I'm going to have for my dindins. Thank you for listening.
please remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Lots of love. Bye. You always know when I'm coming to the end of a recording. Now he's staring at me. You ain't didn't dings. Did you hear you heard you heard me say ding dings, didn't you? I froze that up. Relax. In a more deep and meaningful way. Maybe in a way that can not just allow you to feel calmer now and throughout the time we spend together here. Not just relaxed at the end of the recording when it's finished and you can enjoy that sense of comfort and peace but also I think it would be nice to have those feelings of relaxation continue for longer after the recording is ended so that you can still benefit from listening to my voice maybe in a few hours time perhaps tomorrow And then by listening regularly, especially if you find, like some people do, and myself as well, I sometimes I find one particular recording that really resonates with me. And I'll just listen to it over and over again, like every morning, every evening. There was this recording from, we're going back to about 1999. It, was a, it wasn't hypnosis, but it was a guided visualization. So it kind of was hypnosis, really. And I managed to find it again. And it still has the same effect on me. And part of it was... person's voice relaxed me just felt so peaceful and I'd look forward to listening to her in the morning and in the evening And I knew before even pressing the play button that as soon as I'd done that, pressed the play button, this was in the days of CD players, press the play button. In fact, it might have even been a tape, a tape recorder. I'd lie down on the bed and then even without necessarily listening to her words because 
I had them memorized, really. It was as if my body knew exactly what to do. And the muscles just almost went into automatic relaxation. And I remember my mind would slow down. Now, now, I was, I was listening to this recording in the early days of learning hypnosis and long before I ever made any videos or audio recordings myself because I didn't start doing that till 2006. But I knew, I knew how helpful I found being able to just let go, to have that trust in the person that I'm listening to. knowing that it's going to be just as relaxing, if, if not more so, each time you hear my voice. You may feel the same. Some people have been listening to me for over a decade. Maybe not solidly, obviously not 24 hours a day, but maybe people come back. Some people maybe listen every day. And something that I do, which you may not realize by listening, is when I record these recordings, now for example, I also am affected by the words that I say. So if I said to you, focus on your feet, notice your feet relaxing. I will be focusing on my feet. I will be noticing my feet relaxing. And if I said focus on your hands, and maybe notice the difference between each hand. Perhaps notice the, the air in the room, the temperature of the room on the backs of your hands. You may start to notice 
it almost feels like a very light breeze even though there may not be any type of breeze at all where you are right now and as you become aware of your hands I'm also aware of how relaxed my hands are feeling now. comes to potentially drifting off to sleep, which may be the reason you're listening. I also feel drowsy when I make these recordings. I also notice my mind drifting. In fact, at times, I've actually fallen asleep. Without even noticing. And then I carry on talking. It's only when I listen back to do the editing. I hear snoring. And I think, I don't remember snoring. I remember talking. Is it snoring or is a pig turned up? That's what I sound like when I snore. And I get really into the whole experience. I don't know how you feel. How relaxed you feel in your feet. How relaxed you feel in your hands. I have noticed more and more that the more relaxed deeper level of comfort you feel the easier your breathing becomes It's almost like that additional muscle relaxation. This allows you to breathe easier. without necessarily focusing on your breath.
however, being able to notice the ease in which Breathe so naturally. You breathe so very easily and smoothly. My breathing, improving, when I've got my eyes closed. I tend to visualize beautiful field with trees and flowers producing all that life-giving oxygen. Feels nice. To, if nothing else, just taking some time away from everything. Enjoying that feeling of peace, serenity. a joyful heart time seems to just Drip by so very slowly. completely unattached to 
any thoughts whatsoever in this moment. completely free notice in that Your mind has slowed down slowed down. Because nothing really requires your attention. You can enjoy physical sensations of allowing the stress to drip out of your body. Drip in out of every part of your body. And being released from your brain and your mind. Slowly but surely the muscles in your legs Feelings, the 
pleasant feelings in your arms and shoulders. Deepening each part of your body further and deeper. Soon. The feelings in the back of your neck, the feelings in your wrists muscles in the front of your body, are also feeling deeply there's a sense of peace spreads through your very core. Even when you focus on your mind, your mind becomes even slower.
a very slow stomach peaceful in the stomach Notice how relaxed you now feel. Spine from your brain all the way down the middle of your back, sending and receiving millions of messages every day. Deeply relaxed. Spreading those signals down your spinal cord into every part of your body. Your shins and your calf muscles. Your elbows, 
feelings of peace and tranquility spreading through your body. Tips of your toes to your eyes, your fingers all the way to your lower back. Just wandering away. Happy to let go. Let go. Completely. Let go. So tranquil, your whole body. Joy in a sense of letting go. Even more
joy. The space, this space of peace and safety. Letting go. Maybe we can just focus on the different parts of your body. Just to notice the forehead and your eyes. in a sense of complete freedom. Absolute freedom.
have noticed your mind drifting Peaceful. Blissful peace. Blissful peace.
Kinga. body body feels almost invisible. you could start to notice that you are feeling more relaxed even though I've not purposely focused your mind upon that sense of physical comfort that is growing within you throughout your body and your mind starts to slow down and that could be almost in recognition of I guess my speech not being particularly fast and things just generally feel calmer just by listening to my voice you give yourself a, an opportunity to take a break from the day take a break from your life as it is and to give yourself a rest giving yourself permission to take some time off 
and to allow your body to relax and allow your mind to slow down which in turn releases the tension any stresses that you had in your body it's almost as if the parts of your body just open up allowing the negativity out and at the same time replacing that negativity with positive healing energy which then fills your body up and your mind to also starts to appreciate those feelings of increasing confidence and an almost uplifting feeling positive healing an energy that spreads through your body like a wave of comfort and all this comes from just allowing yourself a few minutes maybe half an hour however long you want it to be to just rest and allow your mind and your body to almost reset itself to the, to the settings of comfort and relaxation calmness which allows more room for feelings of pleasure and happiness to move around your body and into your mind almost as if your mind and your body are sinking together almost mirroring each other with that growing positivity and calmness and it feels nice it really does feel nice to know that you are the one that has allowed yourself to feel more comfort and to experience more of this deep relaxation spreading throughout your body and as I focus on each part of your body you can notice that that part becomes even more relaxed just by focusing on it becomes even more calm and comfortable just by focusing and as I move down your body starting at your head the parts that you've already focused on 
will continue to relax deeply in those parts that we've not yet focused on will just automatically release any remaining tension in anticipation of even more comfort about to come. Now, I'm going to start by focusing on your forehead. Just being aware of the feelings of your forehead. And any background sounds, like Mr. Herbert the Pigeon, can just allow you to feel even more relaxed. Just means you're in the moment. This isn't this isn't a sterile environment. This is the world. I live in the countryside. So there's lots of nature sounds around. So as you focus on your forehead, just notice how it becomes even more relaxed as you focus only on my voice and that part of your body. Moving down to your eyes, focusing on your eyes, noticing how the, your eyelids feel so heavy, yet so light at the same time, and all the muscles around your eyes relaxing. Completely moving your focus down to your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your teeth and your gums, and the whole of your mouth relaxing. Focus now on your jaw, not just the part of your jaw near your mouth, or your chin, but all the way up the sides of your face to your ears, that whole of your jaw, feeling in on your neck, the front of your neck and your throat, relaxing and loose and calm, the sides of your neck, the right and left side of your neck. Focusing on the back of your neck, letting go of any tension that may have been there before, and enjoying that sense of increasing comfort and release. experience in the back of your neck, moving down your back, 
moving either side of your spine, right from the top of your back, all the way down to the bottom of your back. down to your lower back, and as you move up and down your spine, you can feel the muscles either side of your spine relaxing even more. As those muscles relax, that sense of comfort starts to spread outwards from your spine into both sides of your back, the top of your back, the middle and your lower back. And as you scan Gently and slowly up and down your back as the muscles in the top of your back relax and become looser. The muscles in the middle of your back also seem to just almost divide from each other separating and almost melting. And in your lower back, there seems to be an extra special feeling of comfort. This Spreads into your hips, so down your lower back and into your hips, into the area where your coccyx are, and into your buttocks. And all those muscles that spread in your lower back to your hip area, start to melt, start to really let go, and even though we're about to focus on your shoulders, your back and your spine, As you focus on your shoulders, you may notice that they're already feeling really loose. They're already feeling muscles that move from your neck into your shoulders. Feel so soft and gentle, so smooth. Thank you. 
feet and in your shoulders. Seems to spread deep into your shoulders. That sense of relaxation, not just traveling deeply into your muscles, but also relaxing the bones. your arms, relaxing that whole area between the tops of your shoulders and underneath your arms, healing, you feel so shoulders, which sends that deep healing message into your arms, and you may feel Almost as if your arms are not even there because they're so relaxed, so deeply relaxed. So spreading all the way down your arms to your elbows, including your elbows, circumference spread Forearms and your wrists, feeling so heavy, yet at the same time, so gentle.
is a sense of real peace. It just seems to feel so familiar. tips to the front of your body muscles in your thighs your knees
muscles and your shins completely go of everything so I'm going to start counting down now from 20 down to 1 You can imagine, in a way, it's like just walking down some steps. And each step, all 20 steps, and each step represents a level of comfort. Each step 
represents a deepening of that comfort. And the further you, you walk down those steps, the deeper and more relaxed you feel. So, starting with number 20. Twenty. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen.
14. Thirteen.
six.
as you focus on your eyes. Focus in just on your eyes, your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyeballs themselves, that whole area that makes up your eye. As we count down from ten down to one, whilst focusing on your eyes, you'll become twice as relaxed with each number counting down. you may find that all you want to do is just drift off to sleep and if that's what you want then just allow yourself to do that in on your eyes, I'm going to begin counting down from ten down to one, right now, ten.
So counting down from ten to one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. And maybe that was a bit too quick in order to relax. Maybe it's a bit too fast for you to notice the calming of your body. Maybe even a little bit of pressure there like 
You're counting down from 10 to 1. What do you expect me to do, man? You expect me just to go all floppy? Just because you're counting down? I could try it again. But this time I'll go a bit slower. This time and you focus on the whole of your body before we focus on your legs. Just notice how your body does start to feel more relaxed. With every number that I count down. Ten. Seven, six, five, four. just notice how how you feel generally how your body feels it's not necessarily even about counting down from 10 to 1 it's that space that you have that space between being active physically or mentally to just sitting or lying down and just being there not doing anything not saying anything not needing to think think about anything so it, op it opens up a space you know a bit of a space a gap and the more I count down from 10 to 1 the bigger that gap becomes so there's that gap of calmness of comfort, of relaxation. It's a nice feeling. And it moves those stresses or discomforts physically or emotionally, moves them away. allows you to just slow down. So I'm going to count again from 10 down to 1 and notice that gap widening. 
the gap. And as it widens, it's almost like the the stress and the tension falls into the gap. It gives you that distance, that space. Seven, six, How does your body feel now? Can you notice the, that you're feeling calmer? Feeling more relaxed. As we now focus on the legs. Just your legs. And we're just going to start with focusing on your thighs. course it's not the most exciting thing to be doing because I'm, I'm sure like most of your body there's not a lot going on right now but just focusing on the whole of your thighs the tops of your thighs the sides of your thighs, the bottoms of your thighs, your outer thighs and your inner thighs. Basically the whole of your thigh that leads into your hip. And then 
goes down to your knee joints. Now this is a big area. It's a very heavy area. It's very strong. Probably the strongest muscles in your body are in your thighs. But I don't think we perhaps give enough attention to our thighs. Perhaps we don't acknowledge how important our thighs are to our lives. How much they actually do for us all through our lives. And it may seem sound really weird, but I think that all of our body parts, especially our thighs, need some TLC. A bit of love shown. A bit of Acknowledgement, a thank you, gratitude for what our thighs do for us. And I know this may sound a bit strange. Maybe you think, why am I? Surely I should be out in in the garden hugging a tree or something well it's hard to set a microphone up on a tree that's why I'm doing this indoors otherwise I would be outside hugging a tree no I can't see the television from the tree if you move down to your knees Gain such an important part. And, and I think we don't necessarily, I'll speak for myself here, I don't necessarily appreciate all that my knees do for me until I have a problem with my knee. So occasionally, if I have a, if maybe I bash it or it's aching for some reason. It's then that I realise how much it does. You know, the benefit of being able to use my legs without any kind of physical discomfort is a beautiful thing that's possibly not appreciated until it's temporarily removed you know that comfort but as you focus on your knees regardless of how your knees feel you can have that sense of gratitude and love to your knees for all that they do for you And you can still have that attention on your thighs. Maybe notice how your thighs feel. Maybe notice that they are relaxing more deeply. And as you focus now, on the bottoms of your legs, your shins, 
and your calf muscles, and the bones between your knees and your feet, incorporating of course your ankles, so important. It's had even a, like the slightest sprain of an ankle knows how how much we take our ankles for granted. And it's kind of strange in a way when you think that you know logically our wrists are a lot thinner than the rest of our arms. Which is okay, doesn't can't see any problem with that because we're just picking stuff up. But our ankles are so much thinner than the rest of our legs. And from a physics perspective, or logical even, it doesn't really make sense that all this weight would ultimately be resting on your ankles then leading to your feet. That thin area, thin bone. Yet it does so much great work. Supports us, supports our body for a lifetime. Helps us to balance, helps you to get around and be mobile. And there's the calf muscles, of course. When I was younger, I couldn't see the point in calf muscles, they didn't seem to do anything. Like, okay, if I walked around on tiptoes, then my calf muscles get some work. But of course that's not true. The calf muscles are being used whenever we use our legs. And your shins. There to protect your lower legs. Shaped in a way almost as a protector for the bone. Leading, of course, to your ankles and your feet. But we're not going to focus on your feet, we're just going to focus on the legs. I realize that now that I've mentioned your feet, you're probably focusing on them anyway. So maybe I should focus on your feet a little bit. You can have them in your awareness. The same as you have your thighs in your awareness. Even though we haven't been focusing on your thighs for a few minutes. Been focusing on your ankles. There's still that sensation of comfort in your thighs, almost that movement of energy. Because the thighs hold lots of different sensations. Of course, there's the muscles, the big, strong muscles that we have in our thighs. But the skin on the outside of the thighs, as in the outside of all of our body can be very sensitive. 
sensitive to the touch, sensitive to temperature. And inside your thighs, the bones, there's the muscle, there's the blood vessels, the arteries. So all this stuff is inside your thighs. And I guess sometimes it'd be nice if you could actually put your fingers inside your thighs and massage. So you can massage on the outside, of course, but to be able to get deep into the muscles, to be able to just massage inside your thighs, massage in the bones of your leg, massage in all the veins and just gently healing your thighs. You could move down, massaging inside your knees, just massaging those bones, but with healing fingertips, spreading that healing energy deep into the joints of your knees. And of course, there's the back of your your knee, you know, the inside crease where your knee is. It's a very sensitive area. Very, feels very nice when you stroke it. That might be because it's an area that's not really touched very often. It's almost like a hidden part, that crease in your legs. It's almost like a part that has a, a sensitivity which is a little bit different. Of course it's protected by your legs. So you can imagine putting your fingers into that crease in your legs. fold in between your legs, you can just massage with your fingertips, imagine your fingertips going inside, massaging the muscle tissue, you can of course feel the, the bones of your knees healing through your fingertips. And then as you go down to your calf muscles, now that's a part I'd like to be able to really put my fingertips deep inside my calf muscles, massaging every single tissue of that muscle, healing The same for my shins, massaging and gently stroking the bones, gently stroking them, healing in a loving way, because they deserve to be treated as the precious bones that they are, because our legs are so precious, as in all the other parts of our body. They're more precious than any jewel on the planet. When you start to think about your legs in this way, it can change your perspective. It might sound a bit, a bit silly to start with, 
the idea of having love for your legs, showing appreciation for your thighs, wanting to be able to put your hands in your thighs, massage the muscles in the bones, and to get your fingers deep in there, releasing all tension, just to show how much you care about your legs, how much you care for what your legs do for you regularly, your knees, your calves, your ankles. The strength of your ankles, considering how thin they are compared to the rest of your legs, especially your thighs, yet they're so strong, so flexible, absolutely amazing things your ankles are. Truly a gift because of what they do for you. Supporting all that weight, regardless of how what weight you are, even if you're only eight stone, it's still a lot of weight, these little ankles. than eight stone, double that, yet my ankles support my body all the time, although they do give off a sigh of relief when I sit down, as in fact my whole legs do, my feet also go and my toes clap I'm so happy your legs really and I know that talk, uh, talking about your legs is probably possibly the, one of the most in, most boring things you've ever heard anyone say possibly but boring or not everything I said is true your legs are amazing Your legs deserve not just respect, they deserve to relax deeply. They deserve to take some time out of the day to just let go completely. Because the legs are so, such a most, you know, very important part of your body, when you relax your legs, the rest of your body also naturally follows in that 
journey of comfort. I can feel it in my hips. My hips feel really loose. And also in my lower back as well. My lower back really feels, it feels stretched even though I'm just sitting in a chair and there's no stretching as far as I'm aware that I'm doing it's almost as if the muscles have just relaxed so much that there is a natural stretch as the tension has reduced a lot Continue to feel wonderfully relaxed. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So I'm just going to count down from five down to one. And as I count down, if you just focus on the numbers, just the numbers, counting down, and notice how you feel in this moment as you hear the numbers counting down, knowing that those numbers counting down represent you feeling calmer not just in your body but also relaxing your mind and just notice how you feel there's nothing to do there's nothing to say there's nothing to think about Starting with number five. Four. Three. One. As you notice the gradual letting go of the tension in your body. You may also begin to notice and be aware of how your mind is starting to slow down. This is just a natural thing that happens. It's not really a special procedure. It's just natural because as your body relaxes, your mind also starts to relax, and the more 
your mind relaxes, the more your body relaxes. It's just a continuous circle of relaxation. And there's that calmness that comes from relative quietness. You know, even even if there's background sounds, either your side or mine, is still going to be quite calm. You know, you haven't got the television on, there's no music in the background unless you're listening to the recording with music, of course. You're very likely not going to be sitting in a room with other people. Of course you might be, but generally it's more ideal if you can do this on your own. So, no distractions. And when you stop thinking about stuff, relaxation automatically rises. A sense of comfort starts to grow. And without trying to build it up into something fantastical or something magical, this is just a natural process, something that's easy to accomplish. In fact, it's almost you know, the sense of relaxing completely happens really when you put no effort into it. It's not something that you can really force. It's something that happens naturally and part of the process of this recording and others is simply to allow you to take advantage of this space, this time, to just let go, to just be here, to be in tune with how you feel. Yet with the intention of wanting to relax deeply. And maybe even to fall asleep depending on what it is that you wish for yourself in this moment. As we know, relaxing is the majority of the process of falling asleep. The actual falling asleep part is a tiny bit at the end. The deeper relaxed you become, the easier you find yourself drifting. You can also, if you choose, stay focused on my voice and really enjoy the process of gradually Relaxing each 
each muscle in your body. Effortlessly. And just observing the sensation of letting go. This time I'm going to count from six down to one. And you can notice your mind calming down more with each number you hear me say. Six, to slowed right down, sinking deeply into relaxation. As you focus on your mind, you may notice. 
notice that there are some thoughts still there, maybe some stubborn thoughts that for some reason perhaps need your attention. Send love to those thoughts. Sprinkle those thoughts with love. Like little petals from a flower. Just sprinkle it over them. Petals filled with love towards those thoughts. To let those thoughts know that you're not abandoning them, you just need them, you require them to just calm down, slow down, quiet down. As you focus on those remaining thoughts, as we count down this time from seven down to one, with each number, just imagine sprinkling those flower petals of love, kindness, gratitude. Over those thoughts. Which will allow them to just. Melt away. And relax deeply. With every number. Those thoughts will become more. with number seven.
changing now. Notice how relaxed you're feeling in your body. We're going to focus Because the more relaxed your hands are, the more relaxed your body and mind are. And as you focus on your hands, nothing needed to be done, there's no clenching of fists or tensing the fingers or anything like that, it's just noticing and focusing on your Noticing how they feel. Because the more relaxed your hands feel, the calmer your Noticed that your mind is starting to drift. Just on your hands and fingers, allowing them to experience a real deepening of that relaxation in your hands and fingers. number from eight down to one you can almost feel that healing and relaxing energy spreading into your hands
简约，那么的爱Just being here now. Nothing to think about. Nothing to do. Nothing to say. Everything just feels calmer. This is your natural state of being. This is how you just normally feel when you take away all that other stuff that we add. You know, think about stress and worry and overthinking and anxiety.
take that away, which is what we do, what we're doing now. We're left with a real sense of peacefulness, which comes through very quickly. Because ultimately, it's just a feeling. A feeling of comfort. It's almost as if we've gone inside yourself and we've found a special place where everything is peaceful. place where you can feel relaxed and your natural sense of comfort. A place where you can be you. Where you can accept yourself for who you are. A place where you're not trying to anybody else ever a place where you can actually not just love yourself but in some ways more importantly you can like yourself appreciate who you are sense of gratitude is in the air all around you. And that's also a place where you can actually feel the healing energy soaking into your body. soaking into your body and that healing energy spreads through your veins traveling to each and every single part of your body start to realize that actually that healing energy has not just entered into your brain, it's become part of your brain. And that spinal fluid is now mixed with healing energy. Not just allowing you to feel so much more relaxed and healthy in this moment, but also you start to realize that actually what's happening now with that healing relaxing energy spreading through your body is actually changing your life it's actually changing the way you're going to feel not just now but tomorrow and the next day as your health improves Not just your physical health, but your mental health. Things that used to bother you in the past, for some reason, no longer 
have the effect that they used to. Because something's changed deep within you. Maybe things that used to cause you to feel anger no longer have that power to control you the way they seem to be able to before because you realize that you're the one who decides what affects you. You're the one who decides to feel relaxed and calm when you choose to enjoy noticing these natural developments of healing continuing to grow and improve your life day by day. Including, of course, your ability to relax so much easier and sleep in is the most natural thing in the world to you because falling asleep is something that you've done so many times in your life and you know that you were born as we all were with the ability to fall asleep naturally we were born with that ability to just drift off into a deep healing sleep. Even when we're kids, sometimes we'll fall asleep when we don't even want to. We try and do is stay awake. Maybe it's a birthday in the morning or it's Christmas or holiday or something we look forward to. We don't want to go to sleep. The more we want to stay awake, the more we just start to drift. And the more you fight drifting, the more you try and stop yourself from drifting asleep. The deeper and stronger that drifting becomes. Because we're born not just with the need to relax deeply and to naturally fall asleep, but it's our birthright, it's part of our DNA, and sometimes as we get older in life, Perhaps at times we have forgotten that relaxing completely is not only a wonderfully pleasant experience, it's also really easy. very, very easy.
person to let go. Because that's all it is, it's just deciding to let go. When you press the play button on my recordings, you have given permission for my voice to relax you. When you press that play button, you have given me permission for my words to affect you in a positive positive way, opening up your mind to useful and healing suggestions such an amazing effect on how you feel right now, as well as those changes that continue long after the recording ends, those changes within Continue to flourish and grow, transforming your life in a positive, beautiful way, allowing you to move forward in your life in the direction that you choose for yourself. And this feeling, this feeling that you can experience of safety, comfort, calmness, This feels so nice. It's such a healthy place to be. And that positivity grows within you. to find that you're more relaxed physically and in your mind is more relaxed. And it's not that you're thinking slower. It's just that your mind will be less clogged up with unnecessary negativity. Because from now on, your mind rejects negativity. From now on, you're going to start noticing when negativity arises. You can just say stop. Stop. And that negativity will turn around and leave you alone. So 
と、and that negativity would disappear. As you notice that you feel way more relaxed than you probably expected, you can now congratulate yourself because you're the person that has done this. You. Are the one that has opened your mind up to the simple facts that you can feel more relaxed in your body and in your mind. You've opened your mind up to the birthright of being able to just. Fall asleep easily when you choose. And that's a nice feeling, don't you think? Feels nice, doesn't it? To feel. Spreading through your body and your mind, to spend time in that that special place where negativity can no longer enter. Negativity is banned. It's barred. It's not allowed entry. Doesn't it? Doesn't this? Doesn't deserve to be here? Doesn't belong here. Negativity has no place in your life. Room for more comfort, more healing, more relaxation, more peace. Doesn't it? To just to let go of everything. And I'm going to count down now from twenty down to one. Continue to relax. If you choose, you can drift to sleep. With every number, you hear me say. You can feel twice as relaxed. Or if you choose, you can feel twice as sleepy. For now, twenty.
this is your time to just take a break. Your time to relax, to allow your mind to slow down. Give yourself permission to take a break from everything. And you're the only person that can make that decision. You're the only person that can actually tell your mind Just relax. To just take some time off. So that you can focus on your body getting in touch with you feel physically and in the process of this body scan where you focus on different parts of your body those focus on and observe, even though you're not purposely requesting for those parts of your body to relax, it's kind of expected, you expect when you listen to my voice to feel more relaxed, naturally. when you're listening to me, your attention is focused on my words. And as my words guide you to focus on those parts of your body. focus increases which actually calms your mind and when your mind calms down body relaxes. And when your body calms down, your mind relaxes. on your body, you can already feel that healing energy spreading through your body, pushing out stress and tension. of your body, including your skin, your bones, your blood, all of your organs and 
inside your body, all of the muscles, all of the fat, all of everything, every hair on your body is filled with that healing energy. relaxation increases deeply increases in a way that your mind starts to feel perhaps a bit drowsy, because it's not needed, and your mind starts to drift, what's needed. So if you're listening to this and what you need is deep relaxation, that's what you'll get. If what you need is to fall asleep naturally and easily as your mind drifts, that's also Because by pressing that play button on the podcast and listening to me, you give permission to your body and your mind. In fact, you give the command to your body and Drift off to sleep if that's what you want or need. And as I focus on the different parts of your body, Focusing on different parts of your body. And you find yourself drifting. But you don't realize you're drifting until you stop drifting. Because you've alerted me to my voice focusing on different part of your body starts to relax even deeper, because that drifting is basically you already in the sleep zone.
its focus again on parts of your body. Focusing this time on your forehead. Focusing on the fingers, maybe with more of your fingers and little bits and you can focus on each one individually. Focus on both of your hands now, and they may seem to just melt into one. Where does your right hand start and your left hand end? Almost as if. Focusing on the knees, just noticing how your knees feel. Now focusing elbows, focusing in on both of the elbows, just observing the feeling of your elbows.
letting go. start now and I'd like you just first of all just to see yourself lying down on that massage table lying on your front your head is supported your arms are supported and you feel comfortable and the breathing is really easy and you feel You feel confident in how you look as well. So there's none of that issue of body problems or shyness because I'm a professional and this is a therapy session. So none of that stuff matters whatsoever. This is about you. This is about how you feel and how you can enjoy that sense of comfort and relaxation that comes from letting go and allowing my hands and my fingers to relax you by massaging your body. I want to start off just by placing my hands on the back of your head, just gently, just so you can feel what my hands feel like really on you, so you can maybe feel the warmth of my hands on the back of your head, and with my hands to the side of your head, not pressing but just holding there very gently, maybe over your ears and a little bit on your face, just so you can feel my hands, so you can become accustomed to them. And now I put my hands on the back of your head again and gently let them slide down onto the back of your neck. You can feel my hands gently stroking the back of your neck to start with. Just so you can get used to the, the feeling of my hands on your skin. Get accustomed to it. Realise that you're safe. And it's all good. It's all fine. And I'm going to start gently massaging the muscles in the back of your neck. both hands and 
this is a very trusting situation really because our necks are so fragile and to have someone have their hands around your neck in that way can sometimes be problematic for people which is why massages are quite good because it allows you to relax and to get in touch with trust to feel peaceful and calm as a massage the sides of your neck gently moving from the bottom of your neck which would be sort of near where your shoulders start I guess all the way up to your jaw your ears kind of area that side of your neck of course is a lot longer than the front of your neck and massaging the, the back of your neck especially that area where perhaps we hold tension And as that area is massaged, you can actually feel a sense of release in the back of your neck. And maybe you can breathe it out as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Then moving down to that area between your neck and your shoulders, that muscly area, starting to massage that area on both sides. I mean, this would be the area that a lot of people would massage if they were going to give you like a shoulder massage, even that's not technically the shoulders but it's all the muscles that lead to the shoulders and the neck and again that can hold tension and stress and when massaged sometimes a nice deep massage is useful and you decide how deep that massage is allow the knuckles just to dig in to get to those muscles and to really relax them all the time being firm yet gentle with you Just stroking down that area to your actual shoulders, moving to the muscles of your shoulders. And maybe initially just pulling up the shoulders a little bit off the table, just to give you a little bit of a stretch, but very gently. at the muscles at the front of your shoulders, the sides and the back. Again, this is a part that can really take quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of uh, needing, if, if you wish, to really release the tension, really 
get into those muscles and let your fingers in there. You can feel really nice. Sometimes just being stroked gently or being massaged quite strongly can all be beneficial for your relaxation. the muscles in your shoulders. And now as we move down your arms, you do one arm at a time, starting with your right arm. do is I'll just lift your arm up, just hold it to the side of you, that way it'll still be attached, and I just massage the tops of your arms, all the way down to your forearms, into your wrists. Gently massaging that part, the softer part, which is the under part of the arm. leads to the crease in your elbow, the inside, it's much more sensitive skin, sometimes just having that stroked can feel really nice, pleasurable and relaxing. your right hand, just holding your hand in both of my hands, just pressing gently on the back of your hand and stretching your fingers ever so lightly. same time, pressing down and massaging each finger, and then starting to massage the palms of your hands, just turning the hand gently. Stretching it gently. And actually having your hand held can really be an emotional experience sometimes. Even if it is with a stranger. Someone you don't know very well. Like a massage person or a therapist maybe. Because it's intimate. feel nice, you can feel safe, and as I put that right arm back down where it was, and you do the same with your left arm, exactly the same. Massaging the muscles 
side of your arm. Just being gentle or as firm as you require. And then massaging your left hand. Stretching the fingers gently, massaging the palm of your left hand. So comforting. Now just rest your left arm back down. And start to massage your back biggest part of your body, starting at the top, starting again where there would be, be that area at the top and between your shoulders and then your neck, going back, massaging that area again, but this time moving down. stroke to the middle of your back, working from the outside inwards, so massaging the, your back but the, the outsides of your back, the parts where your arms would maybe rest against. your front to your back, and just massaging down, firmly but gently, as firm as you want, moving down and then moving across a little bit and moving all the way down again very gentle, yet firm as you choose. And eventually you get to the spine, you can massage the muscles on either side of your spine, from the top of your neck all the way down to your lower back. do that a few times. Sometimes we can use the knuckle or the, you know, two fingers and just go either side of the spine, almost just push down, go all the way down to the bottom of the spine. Each time releasing tension opening up the body, stretching your body, so that you feel more relaxed, but at the same time, rejuvenated. Now I'm going to move to 
from one side to your right side. And from the bottom of your ribs to your pelvis, you're going to massage that area of your back. I'll stretch over the other side and I'll pull the muscles gently and massage and push from one end, that side, all the way to my side. To the middle, in fact, to where your spine is. Massaging that side of your spine, the opposite side to where I'm standing. It's almost like kneading bread. There's that big area which is firm, yeah, lots there to massage. Potentially one of the most important places to actually have a massage because you really feel it. You really feel the release and the pleasure having your lower back massaged, it releases so much from your body that's not useful, starting a healing process which will continue long after this recording is over. Massaging this part of your body not only feels really good for you, but it's actually fun to do because it is, as I said, like kneading bread. It's a part that you can really get a hold of and really massage deeply if that's your choice. Move over to the other side of your body and do the same with the opposite part of your lower back, kneading and massaging from your sides all the way to the middle of your back where your spine is. Pressing and kneading. Firm and gentle at the same time. But it feels so releasing. This mixture of pleasure, comfort, release, calmness, relaxation, all mixed together. there's that feeling from your stomach that has been stretched even though you're in your stomach now you can feel it being stretched because that whole area is connected to your stomach now we're going to move or move further up to the top of your body and I'm going to do the same, this time starting with your upper back, put my hands forward over and mass massage in that area up to your spine, from the side of your body up to your spine. So some of that massage area, the muscle tissue, whatever, fatty tissue even, will be possibly from your chest. So it's all connected, the chest and the back connect together. And we're going to be massaging and just pulling some of that skin from your side up and massaging that area of your upper back all the way to your spine and then I'll move 
down a bit and I continue with the middle of your back doing exactly the same thing. As gentle or as deep as you choose. Now I'll move off to the other side again and do the exact same thing with the top of your back on the other side from you. Pretty much underneath your arm area, really. To your spine. And then continuing that all the way down, including your lower, your middle of your back. Go to your thighs, the backs of your thighs, and the sides of your thighs. Starting with your right leg, massaging the back and the sides of your thighs. Gently and firmly. There's a lot of muscles there. It's an area that can be very tense at times and maybe needs a little bit more pressure than the rest of the body. But that's up to you. You can gently stroke the back of your legs where they're opposite your knee joint or underneath your knee joint very sensitive, gentle area. Then working down to your calf muscles, massaging your calf muscles thoroughly and deeply if you choose. Using both hands Fingers digging deep. To your ankles. In the back of your back of your ankles. Just gently massage in that area. Maybe lifting the leg and stretching it a little bit. Moving to the right foot. Massaging the bottom of your feet. sides of your feet, gently but firm enough so they don't tickle, and just allow the pleasure that you get from having your feet massage to just overtake you. As I continue to massage your feet, the bottoms of your feet, your sides, your arches, your heel, you can put a lot of pressure into your heel and it feels amazing, yet the arches need to be a bit more gentle. Stretching your toes gently and massaging the bottoms of your toes 
with my fingers, each one individually. And move them over to the left leg to do exactly the same thing. Starting at the top of the thighs, working the back of the thighs and the sides, massaging deeply and gently that whole area. Working all the way down. This is an area that maybe you could like to spend more time relaxing and massaging. So perhaps if you wanted I could make a future recording where I spend more time in one particular area. As you move down. muscles, massaging your calf muscles firmly and gently, moving down your ankle and into your feet, massaging the backs of your feet bottoms of your feet, stretching your toes and massaging each toe individually, and that feeling of pleasure and release that you experience when you're having your feet massaged, feel it. Turn over in your mind, laying on your back. I'm just going to start again at your neck area. And your shoulders. Just to Get back in touch with that area. As you move up, I can clean my hands, make them all fresh, because now I'm going to massage your face gently. Starting off with your forehead, your eyes are closed and you can just stretch your eyes a little bit, pushing up on your eyebrows. And just massaging around your scalp. Massaging down the cheeks, around your ears, into your jaw, gently. The sides of your neck, your chin. moving down from your neck down to your chest, starting by massaging the very top of your chest, where the cold 
collarbones, from the side of the collarbone. And just massaging the whole of the chest. Chest around it feels quite a large area. You can move from one side to the next, moving my hands underneath pretty much where your arms are. Stretching up, stretching some of the muscles of your back in the process. Moving up over your chest. Just massage gently and slide down towards your stomach, starting in the middle of your chest. And then gradually my hands moving apart and massaging and sliding at the same time. Just below your rib cage. Moving down and massaging up again in your chest, getting all the attention that it needs to feel. So going to be focusing on your sides as well, an area that really doesn't get much attention, but feels really good when it's massaged. Just stroking my hands down the sides of your body, and just below your arms. All the way down to your hips. Now moving to your stomach area. I'm going to stand one side of you like I did when I did your lower back. I'm going to do a similar process of just stretching the muscles from the side gently massaging from one side to the next moving that whole area from below your ribs all the way down to below your belly button to the other side of you and repeat that. Process of relaxing deeply, calmly, you feel loose, you feel free. And there's something about having your stomach massaged it's different from any other part because we do have a tendency of holding a different kind of stress in our stomachs that we may not be aware of. So now I'm 
inside your stomach, the front of your stomach, making circles around the belly button. gentleness and a freedom that comes from feeling how you're feeling. As I now move down the tops of your thighs, the muscles, massaging them, I can do this with two legs at the same time, pressing down Massaging deeper those muscles in your thighs, in front of your thighs. Moving down to your knees, gently massaging the knees. Sliding down your shins, putting pressure on either side of your shin. Gently, softly, but firmly, moving down to your ankles, stroking the tops of your feet, and then with each foot in each hand. Gently massaging the whole of the foot, the top, the bottom, your heel, your ankle, your toes, massaging every part of your feet, feels so good just to let go and enjoy the process. Enjoy feeling so deeply relaxed. So much comfort and so many feelings that come just from touching your skin. Just lie there for as long as you choose, enjoying the feeling of deep comfort from being massaged. do is blow out some candles in your mind. There are going to be a hundred going to blow each one out individually, one by one, starting at a hundred as I count down, all the way down to one, and each time I say a number.
imagine that candle in front of you. And I'd like you to actually physically gently blow that candle out. Just this is not a big blow, it's just a gentle and that candle will extinguish. say the next number as we move down and you can just blow that one out as well and as we move down the numbers you'll find yourself Feeling more and more relaxed. And if you need to sleep, you also find yourself becoming incredibly tired and sleepy. In fact, you may struggle. candles as you feel more and more deeply relaxed more and more to me after a while and even though there may be background sounds where you are you be aware of those sounds them at all because they're unimportant where I am I've got the sounds of the birds there's Hollis the pigeon likes to say hello sometimes, and there's the odd plane that goes by, there's been traffic and trains in the distance, but none of that seems important whatsoever. 
and so simple and we're going to start by introducing the first candle which is a hundred Activity growing within you. Relaxation and sleepiness. Expanding. Starting. Eight. 
to eight. It can be seven to seven.
고 
those thoughts, worries, concerns about the past, thoughts about the future, and even things you've been thinking about today. Just let it all go. Because none of it is useful in this moment. This is your opportunity to just focus on feeling relaxed, allowing yourself to get in touch with that natural sense of peace that we all have within us. It's available for everyone. It just sometimes takes a little bit of effort to set up the right time and place in order for you to just let go. Because when you do decide to let go and relax, that's what your body starts to do. Because you've chosen, you've chosen to just allow your body to unwind and your mind starts to slow down. It's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling at the beginning just to know that you have chosen to decide to, to relax deeply. And because you've made that decision, your body will just follow suit. Because sometimes all the muscles in your body need is just permission from you to relax. Because so often we're busy, we're going from here to there, we're walking around and we're doing stuff. And the body doesn't have any time or space to really relax deeply. It kind of waits for you to lead the way. Waits for your permission. And when you do give your permission, when you give the say so, when you say, okay, it's time for your body to let go completely and relax totally. body just follows. It's all like, like a breath of relief. Oh, you don't have to now relax. That feeling at the end of a day, of a very physical day that you may experience in the past, where you get home and you just sit down in a chair, maybe you kick your shoes off and that, oh, feels so nice, knowing that you don't have to get up again for a little while at least, and if you choose you can just sit there for maybe an hour or two, and it feels blissful, and just by sitting now like that, your body knows it's time to relax. Your body has been given permission from you. Because it's a mindset. And your mind feel prepared to let go of everything. And to just completely allow all the stress of your body to evaporate. And your tensions can just
just gradually vanish. It's almost like magic, really. Because that sense of relaxation in the body is a very natural state. It's not something unusual. It may feel unusual when you first start to relax if you if you haven't really spent a lot of time focusing and giving yourself this space to let go and be revealed and relax and see more and more of Stalian. But it isn't. It's actually the most natural thing in the world. is almost like a literal unwinding. It's like you press a button and all the tension just releases. And it's like a wheel, like a cog, like the inside of the clock just unwinding. You know, it's almost like you can see the, the little wind up knob that's used just going the opposite way that it would use to wind it up. And the energy, that frenetic, stressful energy, gradually winding down, losing its power, losing its strength. As a sense of relaxation becomes stronger, deeper. You can even know find you can even relax. You feel that your mind starts to wander. Maybe you seem to stop listening to me for a while and your mind goes somewhere listening to me again. And it was just your mind drifting to sleep. Which is quite natural. Because sometimes when we're stressed and tense, we're not we're not actually being aware of what we mean. What we physically or emotionally moment. But when you allow your body and mind to relax completely and you let go of all thoughts, concerns, worries, ideas, all that you then now need to drop onto the floor. feels so nice to be in touch with the calmness of the different body parts as they become looser and looser 
everything out and then access the inner intentions just in every part of your body and mind and just start to focus on your mind how you do and notice the things that have come to a standstill between the relaxation of your body and the relaxation of your mind let you know that feeling completely calm loose and relaxed really is body and your mind and your life to be able to let go of everything and to relax completely in all parts of your body and mind even your bones side of your scalp where it lies but just start to realize and notice the benefits of your calm relaxing deeply and then as your calm continues to relax she sends those messages to the rest of your body and your mind to really relax even more deeply relax even more completely they're not even necessary in this moment, in this moment of deep relaxation and calmness, filling your brain with deep, concentrated
this ever increasing sensation of comfort that is spreading throughout your body. scan focuses on firstly how you feel in your body not trying to change how you feel not trying to relax not trying to move away from the discomfort or stress or tension but just accepting observing and accepting how you feel different parts of your body, just allowing yourself to be exactly as you are, to notice, to get in touch with how you actually feel in this 
this moment. So we'll start off by focusing to move your hands around, just maybe move your fingers a little bit, opening and closing your hands very gently, just so that you can get in touch with how your hands and your fingers feel. Focusing now on your feet. And if you can, just do kind of an equivalent with your feet as you've just done with your hands. Maybe turning your ankles, moving your feet around, making your toes gently. feet feel in this moment. Focusing now on your eyes. I invite you to just focus on your eyelids. Maybe you can open and close your eyes a couple of times to really get in touch feel when you do close your eyes, the muscle changes in your eyes when you do close them, maybe raising your eyebrows which stretches the tops of your eyes, perhaps squinting your eyes, scrunching up your eyes so you can really get in touch with all aspects of how your eyes feel right now. Now focusing on your thighs. Just going to ask you to gently tense your thighs, just very, very gently, just enough so you can become more attuned to the physical sensation. of your thighs and the backs of your thighs, noticing and observing how your thighs feel right now. Noticing the back of the neck, the muscles, and of course they lead to the side of your neck, they also lead to the top of your back, which leads to your shoulders, and as you focus on the back of your neck, maybe you can move your head gently upwards, as if you're looking up, just maybe moving your head down as if you were looking down, 
sensations physical sensations of how the back of your neck feels right now. As we now focus on the tops of your ears, the palms and the biceps and between your elbow and your shoulders. As you focus on those parts, the tops of your arms, you notice this tense here, but very, very gently. any pressure whatsoever in your arms, it's just so gentle, feeling more of a sense of how your upper arms are feeling in this moment. noticing as you gently, very gently and slowly tighten your muscles in your neck here. Notice how the tops of your arms are feeling. above your brow. As you are able to tense these muscles in that area very, very gently and slowly. If that is a difficult thing to do, then maybe you can just move your body, pushing your stomach up, maybe moving a little bit to the side, even your hips, just so you can get more in tune with how your physical sensations of more happening. As you move your attention Noticing how your tongue in your mouth feels. And that may help by moving your tongue around your mouth, moving it to the left as you press it gently against the side of your mouth, move to the right. 
as I breathe the sighs of recovery. Which means muscle over very much over the years. Which means muscles in some areas in which you are superior energy to your buttocks.
everything starts to slow down. Including the thoughts in your mind and your mind itself just starts to gradually it doesn't have to be instant but just gradually starting to it's almost like time is stretched a slower pace to maybe what you're used to in your day to day life it's a slower movement of energy make up the larger movements, which is always the case, so when you move your hand, it might seem like it's one movement, but it's lots of minute different muscles moving in accordance with each other. And This space that we're sharing is we move from that big movement into those smaller Starting to focus on how your body feels, not just as a whole, not just, oh, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling stressed or tense or I'm feeling relaxed and calm, I'm feeling this way or I'm feeling that way. Starting to notice that your body begins to present to you small feelings around your body. Small physical sensations. pleasurable or not. And maybe resisting the temptation to label them or to judge them, those feelings, and just thinking them, thinking about them as just being neutral, just feelings. being particularly concerned but just noticing what your body is telling you feelings in your arms instead of feeling the whole of the arm maybe notice those individual feelings, all those different muscles and the skin, the hairs of your arms, the all the internal parts of your arms, the veins,
just being aware of maybe your elbow on your right arm has a certain fever. Maybe your left wrist also has the same individual physical sensation. forearms and your right arm, your right forearm, there may not be any particular feeling that you could even give a name to, it may not feel like anything other than just feeling like it's there the feelings in your shoulders perhaps your shoulders when you think about them it's kind of almost like they're the same you know the same feeling it's almost like your both of your shoulders are just one thing all signal and when you focus on your left shoulder and then on your right shoulder maybe you find that you move the muscles a little bit maybe you tense the muscles gently Noticing the difference in each shoulder. Your lower back. side of your lower back and the right side of your lower back. Of course that connection to your buttocks and to your hips. And also moving up into the middle of the back. Sometimes, like right now actually, when I focus on that part, when I focused on my buttocks, and then I focused on my, the middle of my back, it almost felt like the muscles in my lower back were being stretched very gently. Just stretched a little bit. Even though I wasn't doing anything too hard to stretch the lower back, it just seemed to happen. The feeling of very gently stretching the lower back. along that feel in your chest just noticing what sensations you Experiencing in your chest right now. Any 
so much of the chest. Obviously there's the collarbone leading to the chest. You've got the chest bone. You've got the muscles in the chest. And of course if you're female, there's possibly the breasts. If you're male, you've got the different, I might not that different these days, but there may be more muscles at the top of the chest, but at the side underneath, pretty much the same, whether you're a man or a woman, there's muscles there, muscles that stretch out to your back as well as breast tissue that stretches and moves into your back. So just being aware of your chest. Being with whatever feeling there is chest. So I notice that I focus on my chest. I feel it in my my back. Guess the obvious reason would be because you know I'm breathing. In. And then it stretches my chest and my back at the same time. And it feels. It feels okay. A little bit of pain in my right chest. A little bit, not pain, but a little discomfort, maybe stiffness, possibly. I don't know. I notice my shoulders are also wanting to flex for some reason. That's probably part of my upper back. That connection between my shoulders and my upper back. So I can move my shoulders and stretch the muscles in my back. Moving the shoulders backwards or up. Which then moves the, I think it's the scapulas back. It feels quite nice actually. The good thing about this is you can, if you want to, you can just flex. muscles in your body gently in order to get more of a sense of how they feel. And when you're relaxing, when you do tense a muscle, relaxes way more than it would normally. You don't have to feel that you're able to do that. You can 
doing it is to uh, make sure you're prepared for how everybody need to be gentle with yourself your mind how much has your mind slowed down since we started this recording Peaceful is your mind right now. You have nothing to think about. You're just my voice to listen to because you know the intention behind this recording is relaxation. At the very least, for you to feel more relaxed at the end of the recording than you did at the beginning. At the very least, for your mind to slowly lie down, as your body body maybe calming your mind to the point of boredom when you start maybe to as if you're moving further away from the body and the mind, just leaving them there. Kind of like in a, an escape pod in a spaceship, like a movie, a space movie, you know, and Get us that little pod and it sends them <laughs> far away from the spaceship. Safe, free, and continue.
listening to my voice because your mind started to imagine something different maybe started to almost move into some kind of
Jesus. physical sensation most like there's a magnet outside of your head sucking the tension and the stress and all your normal feelings that you don't want sucking it out through your skull if you go down to four and three your mind is expanding with this This is something that you can do yourself and you have no time and you can maybe sit down and do this for a few minutes. Close your eyes. Just count.
practicing my physical form. So my hands down to point three to one. My stress and tension is loose from the fingertips and the toes. And as you focus on your fingertips, I'm going to feel a little bit tingly. This time, I'm going to feel the loose tension and stress and the anxiety within my head. Breathing through your stomach. Just breathing through your stomach, almost as if it's just releasing hold your stomach and your navel to what's it like to be stabilized in your body to be surrounded in your body by air for the whole hour you can feel the tension in your body but it is nice to just release it in that moment and you may notice that your stomach is a bit more relaxed as scan of your body noticing your body feels noticing how your upper body your chest stomach legs and arms feel just noticing it always 
Okay, so you make a plan now. Have a look at your armor. Make sure your stuff is covered up. Just focus on the armor. Just because that's the area that you need the less tension and stress on your mind. Okay, so you need it for your mind. And any tension that you may have had with your mind in the past, in your neck, in your jaw, in your eyes, in your forehead, and in your stomach. Okay, so any tension you can use to help calm the people around you. Think of that. 
want you to make up your mind for the day and the night. I want to explore that with you, what it feels like when you actually decide for your day and your night. Not forcing yourself, but giving yourself it is a command really isn't it when you're telling yourself your night and it's going to be a bit fun that that only you can really tell yourself your night with it's like you have something you say to your brain to relax let your time and you have to be gentle but you can't someone else can't really have a say test it out. There's no little test, a few little tests along the way and you can get more of an idea of the thoughts, the positive thoughts that you put out and create that sense of comfort and relaxation in your body and your mind. And that could be just by start by just just focus on your hands so focus on your hands and just tell your hands to relax so just say relax as you focus on your hands you could say my hands are relaxed or I want my hands to relax and I think if you actually do it directly Focusing and imagining that your hands kind of feel what's inside of you, whatever it is that you have. So talking to your hands and just say, relax. Focus on your eyes and tell your eyes to relax. So just saying the same word, relax. Now find the right tone for you. I mean, I might say relax, and you, you might say relax or relax. You know, you, you might say it differently. Tell your eyes to relax whilst focusing on your eyes rather than looking at your hands. Your eyes are for your body. So just tell your eyes to relax. Relax. Relax.
started focusing on the expansion of the mental picture it got worse before it got better for me but it got a certain degree of comfort growing in my mind and then disappearing so I think what that was really was just me becoming more aware of the tension that was in me as well that I wasn't I wasn't focused on
Lord, thank you, Lord. You can't see the heart of the Lord.
今日どんなレースを見ていますかね That gap of time that takes us to where we're coming from. To move through that. And it removes those rustles and discomfort, physical. 